Howdy, howdy, howdy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to Adventure Gaming presents Whatever Wednesdays, the series where, as you know by now, I play whatever the fuck I want, and sometimes I bring people on to watch me play whatever the fuck I want. And of course, as you know by now, this is my lovely wife, Krista, from the Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. How's it going? I'm good. It me. It, yeah, it her. <laughs> um, so we're here today to look at Stranger Things. It seemed like we haven't played enough spooky games on the channel uh, this month since it's spooky season. I tried to wear my spooky shirt, but it's not very spooky. Yeah, I'm wearing my Jason Lives shirt. It, I'm wearing my uh, Rocky um, Horror shirt. Okay, well anyway, uh, we were going to look at this other horror game, but I just don't think that our PC is going to run it, so I'm not even going to mention it so we can save it for another time, hopefully. Um, but for today, we're going to look at Stranger Things 3, the game. Um, we've never played this before, but the only reason we have it is because it was free on uh, Twitch Prime, I believe. Uh, Twitch Prime is where like you link up your Amazon Prime account with your Twitch account, and that's how I subscribe to Billy's channel. And like it like gives like money to him so much a month. So shout out to Billy from X Arsenal over on Twitter, and you can also find him on uh, YouTube and uh, YouTube and Twitch. Yeah, he's on Twitter. He's on, I didn't know he's on YouTube. Yeah, he's got some videos on YouTube, but he's primarily on Twitch and on so Twitter. Twitch more than just do Twitch. But anyway, yeah, shout out to Billy. But yeah, Twitch Prime they put out like I think they put out free games every month, and they change based on the month. Uh, but this was one of them, so I figured we'd take a short little look at this for whatever Wednesdays. So I'm going to put the other headphone on, we're going to get started here. And plus it's a good show. Yeah, so th that's the other thing, is we've seen Str uh, Stranger Things Season 3 all the way through. We finished it months ago, but if you haven't seen it, I would advise against watching this, as I'm assuming there's want, spoilers. If you, want, if you don't want spoilers. Although I don't know where this game takes place in the canon of things. I don't know if it takes place during Season 3, before or after, I have no idea. I don't know anything about this game. So I take so. on the front, the main screen, it's um, L and yeah. Mike. Mike. Yep. Okay. Yep. So let's see. Do we want to do story difficulty, standard, or master? I don't think we want to do master. This is just for fun. Yeah, we'll just do story, honestly. Okay. Because that's pretty much we what we're here for. We don't want to die very often. Yeah, that's, that's pretty that's much what of, we're here you know... for. And sorry about the weird camera angle as usual, but it's hard to squeeze two people in, with two we're office chairs. A wall. Yeah, we're against a wall, so, so if, it's hard to fit both here. If we had more here. of open space, it yeah. would be so much of an issue. Oh, is this like, is this like play, 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 play by play of the show? I'm not sure. It looks because like it, it so looks far. Because it looks like it, because I remember this. Yeah, you have one mirror. And that's that, oh, what's that guy's face? That like the, um, Slurpees. Yeah. Or. Yeah, I don't remember, or, I don't remember his name though. Hopper went ape on him at one point, which was kind of crazy. Oh, we're gonna be in Star Court. I love it. <laughs> You're just jealous. Just, you know, bring a bat to a mall. No big deal. Fucking it up. Fucking up the mall. That's how we do it. No one will notice. Fuck up that trash can. You can't leave without seeing the movie. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Like, can you just, okay. Okay. So it does like limit you on how far you can go into places. So you guys won't be able to see it because it's up in the top left, but we have a money counter. We just got five cents from a purse. See, I wasn't even paying attention to that. All <laughs> oh, the food court. Oh, and there's the convertible. Sorry, if you haven't seen season three or haven't seen the show at all, you'll understand what that means. You won't understand what that means. I just love that the guy's standing there and he doesn't give a crap that you're taking a bat to everything. Yeah. Well, it's because he's barely getting a lunch break. He doesn't give a shit what a bunch of kids are doing in the mall. There's, there he is. Scoops ahoy! So, do you want to talk about like your favorite things from Stranger Things or things about uh, Stranger Things? I mean, I just love how it's a throwback. Like, it's season three is leaning more into the '80s horror aesthetic than any of the other previous seasons ever have. Um, 
but I, I love it. Like, I'm, I'm, I love that they're not afraid to embrace that, because clearly that's what they've been going for all along, but I feel like as they go on more and more, they embrace that 80s horror aesthetic. I'm really digging it a lot. Do you have, like, a favorite moment or episode? Um... I mean, spoiler alert for Stranger Things Season 3, but um, Hopper dying was really emotional, and seeing Eleven's reaction, especially since she was, you know... No, he became like her father. It became like her father figure. Um, so that was a great moment. And then, like, the last couple episodes of all the seasons so far have been really solid, like, full of, like, suspense and, like, terror. With, especially with and then the, Billy. The, the, yeah, yeah, Billy is a fucking crazy character. Um... It's kind of a douche in season two. Yeah, and then he gets redeemed by season three. Like, he's still a douche, but then you like, end but up you like... Lo- you, you understand why. Yeah, then you understand why, yep. But I think my favorite character, even though Steve kind of starts out bad, he kind of ends up like to this goofy nerd. Not nerd, but like just goofy, I yeah. guess. Like, he's not like this jock. Like, Steve's a good character. And of course, I mean, fan favorite, you gotta like L. L's awesome. But, like, I think Steve's an underrated character and stuff. So is uh, Dustin. I've always liked Dustin. I think he's cool. I wouldn't say Dustin's an underrated character at this point. Well, I mean, I know he's a main character, but everybody's, like, go-to is L. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just, I think um, Dustin's, like, my, one of my favorites and Steve's one of my favorites. Um, Billy, like, at the end, I really felt emotional when he died. Yeah. But, um, I don't know. It's just an all good around show. And then uh, in season two, what's his face from uh, the Goonies? His yeah, Sean Astin. Sean Astin. He was great. I can't remember what Bob was his name in the show. Yeah, Bob. Yep. His death was very emotional, too. Again, if you haven't seen it, sorry for the spoiler. <laughs> well, that's what we warned him at the top of the stream. If you don't want Stranger Things spoilers, it's not the best time to be watching this. Yeah, but if you really don't care, it's fine. If you just like games... You don't like you don't want to watch the show, it's fine too. And if you hear our cat in the background, she's making her mind. Okay, so we gotta kill all the rats. Kill all the rats. Oh god. There's honestly more to it than I thought. Like, when I first saw the trailer for this, I th- a while ago when it first came out, I thought it was just going to be like a side-scrolling beat-em-up type game, but there's more to it than already than I thought there would be. And I kind of like the graphics cool. of it, because you can still tell who's who. Yeah, it's 16-bit, I believe, not 8-bit. I don't know if it'll let us know when all the rats are dead or if we just kind of have to guess. Well, will it not let us leave? There's, there's more in there. I think it might won't let us leave if we don't. Yeah, probably not. There we go. Okay, that's the last rat. So we're, we're up, up to 50, to 50 cents. cents now, which but our, our faces are blocking that, but... We're rich. Yep. Hey, in the 80s, 50 cents was enough to, like, go to the arcade and stuff for a while. That's you true. couldn't do shit with 50 cents now. To be honest, I don't know if I've ever been to, like... An uh, arcade? An arcade. You ever been to I one mean, of the barcades when we went? No. I don't... Even, like... Well, would you call Chuck E. Cheese, like, an arcade? No. I mean, it's, like... It's not, It's not like, far away from it, but it's... That's probably the closest thing I've had. Yeah. To an arcade experience. But also, I'm not... I wasn't a huge gamer until I got older. Yeah. So. They're opening a Dave and Buster's, uh, actually the Where we live, yeah, yeah the week after Extra Life, which is coming up next weekend. We'll talk so about I think, that later. Yeah, we'll talk about a little bit more about that towards the end of this. But we took that Monday off after Extra Life. Yeah, well, mostly, we're be tired. yeah, because I knew I was gonna need it. But I wonder if we're gonna see all the characters. Or if it's just gonna be like the very main ones. Oh, I see. So you have to like use. Oh, them you can here. switch. Yeah. You know what I mean? Though I don't know. Yeah. I wonder if we're just gonna see main characters. I have no idea. We're gonna see all of them. Who made this game? I'm not sure. Is it I indie? I, yeah, I think so. I wasn't paying attention at the... I mean, it's as indie as it can be, considering how huge of a franchise it is. Well, but, yeah, but, like, I just wonder, like, how attached yeah. to the show it is. That's something you could look up right now. That's true. I can. I like researching. Also, his weapon is a slingshot. Mike has the bat. I like the bat better. 
I thought Dustin was the one that always had the slingshot. They probably just took creative liberties for the game, honestly. I could be wrong, too. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay. There we go. We beat that guy's ass. So it's Hopper your favorite? Who, who did you say was your favorite character? Hopper's one of my favorites for sure. I don't know if I actually have a favorite in the show. I just like all the kids a lot. Study the two largest posters. I guess we have to stand on two plates at the same time. So the plates in front of the two largest posters. So here and here. Yep. I'm finding something with Nintendo. Is it staying fit? Yeah, okay. So it is, like, I guess connected to the show. Yeah. Like, it was the show you knew about it, I guess. I mean, you'd have to, because I don't know if, like, because the good the characters don't look like they do. Like, noticeable, maybe, that you had to yeah. get, like, copyright. You know what I mean? Especially, like, Starport Mall and all that stuff. Like, it looks exactly like it does in the show. Yeah, so I'm yeah. Assuming, you know, they had to. So it's it. not, I don't think it's quite an indie game because the budget seems okay. pretty huge considering they got the likenesses and everything. It's not like they got their voices, but. They didn't get the voices? Or it doesn't, not, there's doesn't no appear voices. to be. Yeah, there's, I don't think there's any voices in this. Oh, okay. But okay. to be fair, most games from this era didn't have a lot of voiceover work, so. True. I was, I, like I said, I was just curious to see like how connected to the show it was. Yeah. But. You would think they could make... This would be a good game in general without the show. Yeah. You know, the, it's... Like I said, so far, it's like there's more to it than I thought there would be. Like, they could have easily just made this, like, a lot simpler of a game than they did. Mm-hmm. For sure. But I know you can't hear because I've got the headphones on. I but can the, hear it the, the, the soundtrack is, like, very true to the synth style of the soundtrack. I can hear you, like, hitting things. But yeah. I can't really hear the music of it. Like, I heard that when you picked up the rag. Well, why aren't you doing anything about the pasta leak? <laughs> just, I find that stuff really funny. I know it's just a game, but it's like, oh, there's a pasta leak and I'm just gonna stand here. <laughs> Is those trash cans? Or were those like I have no idea. Jars or looks like there's nothing else to see. And oh, yeah, I can beat the shit out of all the ovens or just open them. I mean, isn't this like every kid's dream is to beat the crap out of something? Yeah. Like not like an actual, you know, I mean, just like stuff. Yeah. Like a car, or like a object. Just like let me let me just destroy this, and I'll feel better. <laughs> it's like a lot less. Or like I thought it was gonna be more linear than it is. Yeah, you're exploring a lot. There's Steve. Oh, what's that girl's name that's with him? I can't remember her name. My mind's blanking. See, See, I think this, you, yeah, you can tell it's like exactly like the show says set up. I think this is like straight story beats like from the third season, at least so far. Yeah. Oh, so we're going to see Will. Susie, do you copy? Oh, I wait, think that was the name of the first episode. Yeah, I was going to say, is that the name of the episode? <laughs> okay, so you have recipes so you can even craft stuff. Ooh. There's a lot more to this game than we thought. Than yeah. Maybe. There's Will. It's funny that we, they didn't actually go in the movie. We didn't see it. Yeah. Well, I mean, they can't show everything. What? They saw um, uh, Dawn of the Dead in that first episode. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know how many of you out there play Rocket League, but they're currently doing a Stranger Things event in Rocket League, yeah. and Ben, Buddy Ben, shout out to Buddy Ben from Sunset and Star doing a bunch of other series that you know him from by now. Um, we've been playing a lot of Rocket League lately, and uh, 
so you can like change your active quest but yeah uh, you collect candy corns it's just like the event over the summer I can't remember what the currency was then if it was like seashells or something like that but you use it to like cash in for like different car toppers or like trails for your car or like you know so they've got like some stranger things and fall it's, themed it's things like for your car corn. yeah like that, that the like candy corns the currency yeah, yeah. Cool. So I guess we'll do the summer fling thing here. <laughs> I just want to see some more characters right now. Yeah, so you can look at the oh, map that's here. that's kind of cool. I don't even think they show a map of Hawkins when you're in the show. We'll just head up this way, I suppose. And another, uh, another good character in the show is Winona Ryder's character. Yeah, she's, she's really, really good, good in it. She's had like kind of like a mini comeback. Because she was not doing stuff for a while. Yeah, for a long time she didn't do much of anything. And she does great as the worried and protective mom. Yeah. She does a really good job of that. Ooh, I wonder if I get to see Billy because you're going to the pool. I'd imagine. I really like the synth right now. It reminds me a lot of the show. Show does have like a good soundtrack too. I don't know what's happening right now. Like it's just having me stand here and nothing's happening. Can you move at all? I just skipped that part, I guess. That was really bizarre. There's Billy. There's Billy. This show, is a, this this uh, new season was actually a lot darker than the first two. Yeah, it's gotten progressively darker as it's went on. I would say the way I'd rank the seasons are three, one, two. That's the order in which I enjoyed them. This this most recent third season was my favorite they've done yet. Yeah, it's really good. That first season though, I think is my favorite. Just because it's still classic, and yeah. like I have a feeling they're gonna slowly just like start to run it to the ground because that's just what Netflix does with their shows. But I do like that they're already advertising that season four is gonna take place outside of Hawkins, so like they're not gonna let it get stale in that sense yeah. at least. And I, I I have a feeling about Hopper too. Yeah, there's a lot of theories going around that Hopper's not really dead. Because if you've seen the last, if you saw season three, there's a part at the end. It's kind of like a end credit scene. Yeah. Where it's in Russia, and there's still one of those things from season two, mm -hmm. still alive, or whatever. And they talk about the American and like that they're holding in prison or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. They don't really say. Holy shit! Did you see all that money just popped out of her? So we're up to six dollars and seventy cents. We're raking it in. Yep. Um. That there's an American that they're holding and people are suspecting that's Hopper. Yeah. Which wouldn't be surprising. Well, also, spoiler alert, by the way, for anybody who, you know, obviously. <laughs> Wait, that's but I don't know if right you now. even saw this, but did you see the other day they posted that um, they're filming Stranger Things Season 4 right now and somebody spotted Hopper's Jeep on set. So, I mean. But that can mean a lot. It can mean things. anything, yeah. Because. Because there's a just there. So, so we have to get so we have to go to the mall, back go to the back mall, mall and get okay. soft pretzel and a fancy shampoo. Um that could mean though that like he gave it to L. That could be L driving it, you know. Let's see which way is the mall. I don't know. Back we'll see. This way. We'll see what happens. Um yeah. I have a vendetta against season two, for some reason. It's not it wasn't bad by any means. Like the cat. It, yeah. That cat scene, I can't do it. Yeah. I have a really strong feelings of when animals die in movies. I don't know if it's just because okay. of my so love go. for Disney <laughs> animal movies. But like anytime an animal dies in a movie in a violent way, I... Not a fan. Yeah, I've I've expressed my complicated feelings on that subject. It's a really weird place to be because I mean, because like, you know they're not actually in the making of the movie. Well, they're not hurting. Not only that, it's just like we watch people die and stuff all the time, but then when animals get killed, we get up in well, arms it's about they're it. They're so innocent. They don't yeah, know. that's my defense of it too. Is that nine times out of ten, like if a human gets killed, it's because like. You know. I mean, there's a lot of times where it's innocent and it is sad. Yeah. But Not like, saying that humans aren't innocent no. either, because the majority of us are innocent, but... But just as a general rule, seeing an animal die in a violent way is not my jam. <laughs> I just so. picked up a gnome, so there's 50 gnomes you can pick up. Collector's gnomes. Were, were gnomes big things in the 80s? Um, like garden gnomes and stuff, yeah. I feel like the 80s and 90s especially, because like, uh... 
I remember I really didn't even honestly, like I'd never seen gnomes before really around. Like my parents never had them around the house as a kid, but I remember it, there was a Goosebumps episode in a book when I was a kid, something about the garden gnomes, Revenge of the Garden Gnomes or something. Oh, okay. And where like the gnomes were like these actual little men that like came to life at nighttime. And like, it was one of those cases of like cry wolf from the kids. Like the parents never believed them because oh. they never saw it for themselves. See, gnomes are a big thing in the Sims. Uh, yeah. There's, there's a, uh... And they tend to be creepy because they'll, if you put a gnome in your house, they'll move around at random times. Yeah. And they'll just show up. So I've like made a point not to put gnomes in whenever I play because it's like very creepy. I just, I don't, I didn't, I didn't, my parents So for this nasty cars. soft pretzel that we're taking to Billy, we only have to pay five cents for it. Nice. So we still have $7.25 left. I'm sorry about the video cutting all that out there, but. Killing it. Let's see. What'd it cut out? Well, like, if you look, like, r like right there, over there, um, like, and then, like, up at the top left is where our total is at at all times. So now we gotta go upstairs and get the fancy shampoo. A dirty pretzel and a uh, fancy shampoo. Sounds like a good combo. Yep. You're doing so much just by standing there. Yeah. <laughs> so you can buy stuff from these vending machines, too. Oh, cool. Do you have, like, a meat? Oh, you do have a meat. Okay. Yeah. I'm not, I'm paying attention to the actual, like, I'm not paying attention to the details on the bottom. Oh, five dollars for this. That's going to, like, wipe us out. But we have but to have we it. We have to have it. So now we're down to two dollars and thirty cents. That was a lot for shampoo back then. That's a lot of shamp for shampoo now. Can you ride the horse? Uh, unfortunately, no. It looks like you cannot. <sighs> missed opportunity. Yes. Huge missed opportunity. Opportunity. We can't go into the cinema uh, either. Rude. We'll do a couple more uh, things here and then we'll call it because we said this is going to be a short one. But we just wanted to take a quick look at this. But we didn't come I back think, to it. I was going to say, I could see myself putting some more time into this because it's. Because I, I want to see more characters. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Mike and uh, Dustin. I'm sure. Well, well Dustin's going to be in it for sure. We know that much. All the kids have to be in it because otherwise, what's Holy, the fucking yeah. point? But I want to see them. We saw Billy, but I don't yeah. Know. But I want to see more like Dustin. I mean, Dustin, to be fair. Let's give the dirty boys dirty pretzel. Oh, technically, Dustin doesn't show up till. Episode two? two? Yeah, I think so. So I think he right. may not even be in this part. So I'm assuming that, like, we saw the first thing. Yeah. That was the name of the first episode. I'm assuming it's just going to go by each episode. Which is smart. It's a good way to make this. It's a good idea to make this game. So we completed that. So what do we get? So we're back up to $7.50. Oh, yeah, she nice. gave us some spending money. It just didn't spit the money out like it did last time. So now the next thing is Dustin, so we'll do this Dustin thing real quick here. I want to go swimming. That water looks like you can just walk right onto it. Yeah. I wonder how the saving works in this, if there's like an auto save. There has to be, because there's no way to... Yeah, I mean, I would assume so. show is really good for nostalgia if you for were sure an 80s or that's 90s. why i don't get the people that watch it and complain about it like leaning too heavily on like the 80s nostalgia and everything it's I mean, like what do you think point. you're getting into well like, especially like the community pool i remember going to the community pool where we lived yeah. as a kid that's like very nostalgic like that's there was i mean it makes it sound old hmm. but in the 90s you didn't abandoned really abandoned house have like internet stuff it was just like if you had video games sure but like most of the time you're out playing in the summer. Yeah. In the 90s. So, very nostalgic. Her cat is losing her mind right now. Yeah, she's right outside the door crying. So if you hear that, she's she's okay. She's, I don't think they'll be able to hear it, but if she's... If you do, yeah. she can be very loud, so you might be able to, but she's very... Um, she has major FOMO. Fear of missing out. Yeah, major, major FOMO. Maybe one of these days we'll put her in a video. 
<laughs> yeah, I'll, well, honestly, if you watch our extra live stream next weekend, she'll, she'll probably yeah. just pop up in that because we're going to have the, hopefully, if the connect works out, which I'm assuming it will. I just haven't tried it and plugged it in yet. But we should have video for extra life this year. There's a There's an L. And then not uh, Sadie. Justin! Oh, this is that scene in the show where. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Where you pepper sprays, That's I love funny. it. I love Dustin's hat. Mm -hmm. That's like his like trademark. Yep. So that's one of the things you can unlock in Rocket League. It's like a topper for your car. That's like his hat. <sighs> and the guy, the kid who plays Dustin's really cool. Oh, yeah. And they're all on social media, I think. So his thing is, like, spraying, like, I don't know if it's, like, spray paint or whatever it is. That he's... I think it's pepper spray. Because he, he, yeah, that's right. Because it, yeah. Yeah. I think the kid who plays Mike is going to be in a new horror movie. Yeah, I saw that. Um, I can't remember what it's called. So he's, uh, do you know that band I listened to called Pup? Oh, he's in a band. I knew he's, that. No, no, no. He's, he's not in that band. He's but, in. But he's in a but band. He's in a band yeah. But he's in a bunch of, or a couple of uh, Pups music videos. Oh, okay. Like when he was younger, like when Stranger Things first started. I don't think they've used him in a video for a while, but. Multi-talented. Let's see. And Dustin, the kid who played Dustin, started out in Broadway. What are we looking? Umbrella, duct tape, and tin foil. Oh, okay, there's the tin foil. There's the umbrella. I started out in my favorite musical of all time, which Josh highly disagrees with me. Which one, Lay Miz? Yes, he played the little kid. I mean, there's no denying that he has talent and he can sing. I just think that that's like, it's the music in that. I'm not into opera singing. Music and Lame is is opera singing. It's not opera singing. Basically is. Sorry. And they also fucking Russell Crowe can't sing his way out of a plastic bag either. You haven't so. seen like the uh, version that's not music. Well, yeah, it's, I'm assuming if I saw it on Broadway, I'd probably be like moved to tears because it's like a horrible, a horrible story about horrible shit happening to people. But the the Hollywood version was like, how many famous people that can't sing can we squeeze into one oh, movie? Come on. Anne, Hath Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway. You see this? All right, let's make this uh, antenna and we'll call it a day. This is, this is, this, is the, the, this is how our debates go. Oh, it's no debate. I just don't like it. You're like, hey, hey, listen. You're allowed to like whatever you want to like. Uh -huh. I, I just that doesn't mean I also have to like it. Uh huh. All right. Well, <laughs> we played about twenty minutes or so of Stranger Things, so that's gonna do it for today. Uh, thank you for being on here with me as usual. Um, so yeah, Extra Life it yeah. is how many days away? So it's Saturday, so let's see, Friday, Thursday, so eight, nine days? <laughs> I don't fucking know how numbers work. Uh, I'm not the number -tition. number -tition. I'm not the number -tition, the mathematician. And you, and you got on my case for saying Anne Hathaway. But anyway, uh, so that's next Saturday, November 2nd. Yeah, like nine days. Um, next Saturday, November 2nd at noon Eastern is when we're going to be starting. And then because of the time change, instead of just being a 24-hour stream, it's actually going to be a 25-hour stream. So... Uh, we're going to be posting soon on the channel over the weekend. We're going to be posting who all my special guests for the stream are going to be. And uh, we have one poll that just ended on the site, actually, between... So I'm going to do a couple polls where I might play both the games in the poll during the stream, but I'm going to play the, mo the majority of what, you know, which one got. Uh, the first poll was. But the first poll was Overwatch versus Apex Legends. With, with, eight, with Apex Legends being popular, I expected to win in, like, a landslide. But we just looked at Twitter, and there were six votes, and each game got three. So it was a 50-50 tie. Facebook, there were also six votes, but four... Overwhelmingly for Overwatch. Or five, yeah, five went to Overwatch, and one went to uh, Apex Legends. And then the Instagram one ended Overwatch first, time. but Overwatch won by one. It was like six to five or five to four. So overall, Overwatch is the winner. So I will be playing a bunch of Overwatch, at least a few hours, I would say, for the stream. And then a little bit of Apex Legends if we have time. Uh, and then the second poll that we'll be posting is still a surprise, but if you know by now, I love horror stuff, so it's going to be, be it's going to be horror related. So two horror games that'll be up for vote. So be sure to go to the Adjutant Gaming Facebook, uh, Instagram, and Twitter. 
Uh, and then also check out our YouTube channel. We've got new uh, Sims videos up from her. Not too much from me lately, just because life's been happening and you know shit's it's been busy here. It's been busy here lately, so. Um, but it's for the kids, so if you yeah. don't want to necessarily watch but still want to help out, you know you can donate. The link will be. In and the even if you can't donate, honestly, even just more share. valuable than a donation, just share the link um, and share my page and sh share it with your friends. Uh, the goal is two hundred fifty dollars this year. We're also going to be doing and donation incentives as well. Yes. Um, so for every $50 that we raise, we're going to do kind of like a swap system. Like you get two choices. You either get to pick the next game I play, which like we can't leave it super open-ended because then it'd be like, oh, you pick a game I don't have, like I'd have to buy that. We're going to give you like two options just like the polls. So I'll give you two games as an option and you get to pick that. And if we can't, for some reason, we can't contact the person that donated money or if it's like a person like one of our parents or something, then it'll just go to the next person in line that gets to pick. Um, but then if you don't want to pick the game that I play, then you can make me do something dumb or funny or silly on the just stream. No make me do, just no nudity. <laughs> I'm not going to show my dick or my ass on stream. So don't even, don't get any ideas, Alex or Ben. It. Even though I'd appreciate it. Yeah, I know she would. But anyway, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to not talk about that anymore. But um, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for tuning in for another edition of Whatever Wednesdays. Thanks, to Krista, for being here. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>